can all agree that customizability is one of the best things about PC gaming. But laptop gaming also falls under the category of PC gaming. So this begs the question, can you customize your own gaming laptop or even build one from scratch? Well, you are watching this video, so obviously there's something to be said about the validity of this train of thought. That's why the purpose of today's video is to answer this question and elaborate on any additional points relevant to it. So without any further ado, let's begin. So let's start with the most basic question. Can you even build your own gaming laptop? The answer, surprisingly, is yes. Yes, you can. However, there are obviously some caveats here. Otherwise, everyone would be doing it. So how does this work? Well, there are certain things called bare-bones laptops. Just like the name implies, these are laptops that are equipped with only the most basic components. So it's up to you to complete the build in any way you see fit. However, there are two big issues here. Firstly, laptop hardware is kind of hard to come by since it's not readily available for consumer purchase. This means that you can't just walk into your local hardware shop and expect to walk out of it with the components you need. So you will have to jump through many hurdles in order to get that specific version of a mobile GPU that you have your sights set on. And make no mistake, the compact variants of CPUs and GPUs that go into laptops are rather expensive. Secondly, you may not be able to physically fit the components properly. The thing about laptop hardware is that it's not standardized. In fact, components are often customized not just to generate less heat but also to snugly fit a certain laptop chassis. And even if you have all the right parts, it's still a pain to actually assemble everything, since you'll need to work with the utmost precision. It's not like with desktop PCs where all you'll need is a screwdriver. Honestly, there's a reason why laptops are assembled in factories. Still, even despite these inconveniences, the answer to our initial question is yes, you can build your own laptop, but we'd like to ask a more relevant question now, should you? Since this whole discussion was springboarded off the premise that customization is one of the best things about PC gaming, it's worth taking a step back and figuring out just why exactly this is the case. For example, it's well known that building a PC is more cost efficient than buying a pre-made one. It also lets you install a better cooling solution since the ones found in pre-built PCs are often subpar for gaming. And let's not forget about upgradability. You can, of course, upgrade a pre-built PC, but when building one from scratch, you can think of what you want your PC to look like in a few years and pick the best components that will be the most effective in getting you there. There are, of course, many other reasons to build your own PC, like better warranties and such, but we don't want to get sidetracked here, so the three points that we've made will do just fine. If you want to see how custom and pre-made PCs stack up against each other, there's a link in the description that'll take you to a video where we discuss just that. Now let's take a look at whether the advantages of building a custom PC that we've listed can be applied to laptops. First up, we had cost efficiency. As we've already mentioned, mobile versions of hardware PCs are not affordable. Now, it's no secret that a desktop PC will always outperform a laptop on the same budget. That's not what we're really referring to. What we'd like to emphasize is the fact that a factory-made laptop can easily outperform a custom-made one on the same budget. This doesn't have to be the case, but we're talking about the rules here, not the exceptions. So we can throw cost efficiency right out the window. Next up, we have cooling. The best way to ensure that your desktop PC has the best cooling solution for its budget is to install it yourself. But the same does not hold true for laptops. Granted, factory-made laptops don't have phenomenal cooling either, but that's unavoidable given how cramped the laptop space within the laptop chassis is. Unfortunately, we don't see any ways in which outfitting the laptop yourself would really help with this. All you can do is just get the best cooling pad available and hope for the best. And finally, we mentioned upgradability. This one should be obvious by now. Not only is your laptop hardware difficult to come by, but its unstandardized nature also means that newer parts won't necessarily fit into your existing chassis. Moreover, when you upgrade, say, the GPU on your desktop PC, you can always make the situation easier on your wallet by selling the old GPU. But finding a buyer for outdated laptop components won't be nearly as easy. With this in mind, we can safely say that no, you should not build your own gaming laptop. 
At the very least, it isn't something we can recommend. If you're adamant about building a customized portable gaming machine, go right ahead. But we see this as something that only hobbyists would do. Still, this doesn't mean that you can't breathe some new life into your gaming laptop. Which leads us to the next point of discussion, external GPUs. External GPUs operate in a very simple manner. You get a case that's designed to fit only a full-size desktop GPU and a power supply for said GPU. Then you connect it to your laptop via a Thunderbolt 3 port and voila! You now have a desktop level graphics card connected to your laptop. The only problem is the price of the external GPUs. These toys don't come cheap but they sure can be more affordable than buying a new gaming laptop, especially if the GPU is the only component that needs upgrading in the first place. Overall, external GPUs aren't the most elegant solution, but they do offer way more power than a mobile GPU ever could, and they don't sacrifice too much in terms of portability. And as far as upgradability, well, it doesn't get any better than this. Now, there is a bit more nuance here. Not every external GPU chassis can support every graphics card, and the performance is marginally worse simply because the Thunderbolt 3 port isn't as fast as PCI Express. But regardless, this is the best way to push your gaming laptop into the realm of desktop PC performance. And if the idea of pairing your laptop with an external GPU is tickling your fancy, check out the video description where you'll find a link to the video where we list out all the best external GPUs currently available. So let's summarize what we've learned. Yes, you can build a gaming laptop from scratch, but no, you really shouldn't, because none of the benefits of building a custom desktop PC apply when we're talking about laptops. So the best way to increase the performance of a laptop and introduce an element of upgradability to it is by pairing it with an external GPU. And that about does it for today. We hope you found it helpful. If you did, you can help us out by liking it and subscribing to our channel. And if you've got friends who you think could benefit from watching this, help them out by sharing this video. Also, if you want to see more videos like this one, we highly suggest clicking the bell icon so that YouTube doesn't accidentally sneak new uploads past you. Speaking of which, we've made this video based on the assumption that you already know laptops are the right pick for you. But if you're still considering all your options, give our laptop versus desktop video a try. The link is in the description. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.